So like an, another story was these two Palestinians were arrested for uh, stone throwing and they were um, zip tied and eyes covered, bl blindfolded and left in like a, a military van overnight for them to get processed or for their families to pick them up. I'm not sure what the exact story is, but I was told that I need to check on them every few hours and um, bring them water and food, um, take off their zip ties so they could pee and whatnot. Um, so actually the first time I went to check on them, I actually didn't bring my, my gun, which you're not, you're meant to have your gun on you at all times, but I didn't. And then I opened the van door and they both had, they got their zip ties off and took their blindfolds off and they're just staring at me. Could have been a very dangerous situation, but, um, they just looked at me. I told them that they need to, I, I'm sorry, I need to zip tie you again. Um, but you know, I, I spent the, the night with them, like visiting them every once in a while. And I was told to bring them just hummus and pita, but I decided I, I felt bad for them sitting there all night in, in the car. So I brought them like, uh, some desserts and stuff as well. And they actually got mad at me for, uh, for doing that. And, and they, they said the zip tie, it was around too loose and they made them tighter. So that, that genuinely bothered me. And this was before I had any understanding about the narratives or anything like that, but just, just you know, basic human, like understanding of one another, like whatever they did wrong, like zip ties hurt when they're tight and, you know, let them get a little jello with their, with their food, like whatever, you know? So that's, um, that's another experience I had. I mean, besides that, you know, I, I, I will tell, I will, um, I will say this, the majority of the interactions between soldiers in the West Bank and Palestinians are, let's call them neutral, right? They're obviously not positive, but they're not, they don't involve abuse, but there very much is a significant amount of soldiers that abuse their power, whether it's speaking um, to Palestinians in a dehumanizing way, whether it's being uh, too physical with them, um, Another example, this is a story from my brother who was an officer in the army. He served in the West Bank. He said that his officer, the Mempe, which is a, a battalion leader, uh, every morning would go to a Palestinian village and shoot a whole clip of bullets in the air. And my brother asked him why he's doing that. He said, to show our presence. Okay, that's obviously fucked up. So, th so there is all too much abuse power that's unchecked very little accountability and this is something we need to do much more to stop the case could be made that we need a security presence there but the abuse of power cannot be justified there's zero moral moral justification for it whatsoever and i'd like to see israelis be more vocal against this not just uh those who oppose israel